sudo mod-tcif-o username where we will be targeting hacker loy in this case domain workgroup all right and slash slash 182.168.0.108 so this is the target ip address slash videos slash mnt slash local underscore share let's hit enter on that let's enter the password for hacker loy all right let's go into mount local underscore share ls oh we got an interesting file here let's take a look at that hacker loy salary.docx wow this looks pretty exciting let's open up a file explorer on this let's go over into that exactly where we are now file system under mnt double clicked on that we have local share acroloy salary on docx double clicked on it oh gosh password protection hacker law is pretty smart he has a password protection for the docx file so that we cannot know what is his actual salary so what should we do then but don't worry about it. Whatever the case is, whenever you see a file that is password protected, we have several options, particularly for files that you own or files that you, in a way, when you say own, you could be meaning that you really own a file, that you created it and you have permissions to it, or that you hacked into the computer and you somehow own into the machine and you have now ownership of all of the documents and all the folders and everything and the computer is owned. Okay, so whichever the case is, what we can do is we can launch brute force attack against the password protection field. Yes, I know. You must be really interested and curious about what exactly is Hacker's Lloyd's salary, isn't it? And more importantly, what exactly is his password? Oh, remember, hacking is illegal. If you want to do any of these hacking activities, only do it in your own home hacking lab environment. Else, if you get caught, once again, do not tell them that you know who is Hacker Loy. And remember to smash the like button, because what we are going to do today is to hack Hacker Loy. And remember, to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that anytime someone gets hacked, sorry, I mean, whenever there's a new hacking tutorial, you get notified first so that you can learn everything about ethical hacking and penetration testing. So going back to the tutorial right here, you can see the following, enter password. So fret not, what we can do now is go ahead and click cancel and we can use the good old copy and paste. So do a right click, copy, all right, go back to desktop. And what I can do now is paste it right here. So we have to file right here, hackerloysalary.docx. So moving back into terminal, what we want to do now is to find where exactly is John. All right, so what you can do is you can enter locate office to John and hit enter on this. And we can see the following, we have USR, share john office to john.py so let's go ahead and change directory to there so you can enter cd usr share john and once you're in this particular directory you can enter ls my goodness you can see all the options available for us so we have pdf to john we have pcap to john we have pos gen office to john and so many options available for us to convert all these different types of format into options for us to begin the brute force attack against them so this is pretty scary the next thing we want to do now is to go ahead and use office to john to launch the attack so you can enter python tree followed by office to john and then what we want to do now is to go ahead and target the file that we have copied over into so the first thing you can do on the python tree office to john.py what you can do now is go ahead and enter and target the file which is desktop this is where we save the file into all right now we have hacker alloy followed by salary.docx, okay? And, and then you want to output this into a particular file, all right? So in this case, we want to output it into likewise desktop and we want to save it as say, for example, to be hacked at hash.txt, all right? So go ahead and hit enter in three, two, one, hit enter on that, and that's it, we're done. And all you got to do is now enter cat, followed by desktop with a file is saved, to be hacked, hash.txt, hit enter on this, and we can see the following. We have hackerloy salary.docx. It's an office 2013 and the rest of the other values that we'll be going after. Okay, so what we can do now is go ahead and use John as part of attacking the system. And good news today, I have a secret file that I want to share with you about lists of really interesting passwords that will amaze you. So what we want to do now is to go ahead and target this particular hash file that we have generated. And here, as I mentioned earlier, I want to share something really interesting. So you would have seen rockq.txt several times. We contain all of those commonly used passwords. Okay, so if I go ahead and enter, say, for example, hit usr share word list 
followed by rockyou.txt. So you have all these commonly used passwords that a lot of people are using, and you can see this from all of those password data dumps, right? So that's really something that you can use easily as part of launching all sorts of attack using common word list. So what I have here, let's go ahead and change directory to say, for example, USR share word list, and I enter LS. I have a really interesting file here called secret hackerloid password list.txt. You want to know what's inside of this? Let me show you. Okay, so I can enter cat secret hackerloid password list.txt. Hit enter on this. And we have three really interesting passwords. Hackerloid is very handsome. Hackerloid is extremely handsome. And Hackerloid is very good looking. What do you think? Which one of this is going to be the password used to secure the particular file that we saw earlier? So now moving forward, what we want to do now is go ahead and target the file. So you can enter John followed by dash dash or right, word list equal. And in this case, we'll use USR share or right, word list followed by secret hacker loy password list dot txt. And then what we want to do now is to go ahead and target the hash file that we have created. So you can enter slash desktop followed by to be hacked hash dot txt and hit enter on this and tree. Two, one, we can see the following. Hackerloy is very handsome. Is the password used for this file? Well, don't believe me. Let's go in and open it up. So let's go back over into desktop. Okay, let's double click onto the file over here. And let's go ahead and enter it. Hackerloy is very handsome. Click OK. We open up the file. That's it. We are able to get access into the file by launching a brute force attack using those password lists that we have obtained. And now here we are, we have opened up the file. Now the second option that we have is using Hashcat. So I'm using my graphical processing unit in my host machine. So we have to transfer the hash file over into our host machine so that we can take advantage of the GPU that we have to launch the attack against this file. So here is what we are going to do. So the first thing we can do is to transfer the file over. So what you want to do now is go ahead and enter the following. Okay, so let me just go ahead and reset this. So we can enter sudo and we can enter cp, which is copy. And we want to target the file over here, which is of course desktop to be hacked hash.txt and we're going over to slash mnt slash local underscore share and go ahead and hit enter on this. And that's it, we have transferred the file over. So if I go over to local share, you can see the following over here, to be hack hash.txt. So this is the file that we are targeting. So what I can do now is to go ahead and go back to my main machine. And in my main machine, what I'm going to do now is to go ahead and copy this particular file, all right, to be hacked. And I'm going to copy it and I'm going to throw it over into my hashcat folder. Okay, I can paste it right here to be hacked hash.txt as you can see right here. And of course, we have the same secret hackerloy password list.txt. So I can double click on this. And once again, you can see the three password field that we have here. All right. So we are going to be using this once again to launch the attack against the file. So now moving over into command prompt, we are in Hashcat folder. So what I want to do now is explain a little more. All right. So Hashcat is the world's fastest and most advanced password recovery tool. I really like the word recovery. OK, so as you scroll down further, you can see the following. We have a lot of options available for us to launch the attack. All right, so we have attack mode. OK, and of course, we have to declare the kind of mode that we have because of the file that we are targeting. So this is Office all right, 2013, which is 9600 that we'll be using. So it's a document type. So you can see right here, these are the options available for us to open up and brute force attack a lot of different types of hash values of file or what we call hash modes. Okay, so this is really interesting and we can even do it for wireless hacking. Wouldn't you like that as a future tutorial? Yeah. Okay, so now going back into command prompt. So this is what we will do as part of targeting the file. Okay, so what we can do now is go ahead and enter the following. Okay, hashcat. All right, then we have hashcat.exe, right? So hashcat.exe and we'll target and use the attack mode of dash A0. And then we can have dash M9600. So we got them this value from the hash value earlier. And what we can do now is enter dash dash username because there is a file name earlier, dash O, and we want to target into say crack pass.txt. And then of course, next is the target file that we're going after. Of course, in this case, to be hacked, all right? To be hacked at hash.txt followed by all right, the word list that we have. So remember the secret word list that we have created, secret hacker loy password list.txt. And you can go ahead and hit enter on this. 
And you can see the following, all right? We have the following running right now, and it has stated, all right, the following candidate number one. Okay, so you has the following hacker law is very handsome, hacker law is very good looking. So we ran through that. So what we can do now is to go ahead and see the file that's available for us. Okay, so we have created a file which is of course the output. So in this case, what we want to do is to open up that particular file which has now all of the cracked values. Okay, that's available for us, which is under here, right? Cracked pass.txt. So all I got to do now is go ahead and enter the following, which is type crack pass.txt okay and go ahead and hit enter on this and you can see the following right hackaloy is very handsome this is the password to open up the file i'm really impressed with what you have achieved today you managed to hack into hackaloy's file well done good job i'm really proud of you so once again i hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below and we'll try our best to answer any of the questions remember to smash the like button get notification turn on and always be subscribed okay so that you can be kept abreast of the latest ethical hacking and penetration testing tutorial thank you so much once again for watching